What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today's August 11th. I'm out here doing some trail camera work today. Just gonna be swapping some SD cards and some cameras for the first time this summer. Um, but in today's video, I wanted to bring you a video of kind of four ways that you could be messing up your deer season, kind of like right now. So essentially this video is gonna cover four things that you shouldn't be doing this time of year. Um, four things that could mess you up and just kind of these things that you know, it's just some things to be avoiding and uh, because these things are really common, people love to do them during the summer. And honestly, I think they can really mess you up going into season and get you on the wrong path before deer season's even started. So with that, we're gonna jump into today's video. first thing that I want to cover while I'm out here is to not set unrealistic expectations. Now what I mean by this is don't, you know, feel free to shoot for the moon or set really high expectations. I like to set high expectations every year too, but really take this time in the summer to evaluate, you know, as we're nearing season here, um, what your outlook looks like, you know, what kind of land you're hunting. Do you have good bucks around? Like for me, I'm not going to set an example of shooting just a booner even though I'd love to shoot a Booner, but it's really not realistic. The biggest buck I have on camera right now is, you know, 140, 150. And shooting a Booner would be, though great, and it could happen, I'm not gonna hunt solely based on those expectations. And so what I really mean by this is, just really take a look at what kind of property you have, you know, do you hunt highly pressured public land? Well, maybe set a goal, maybe shooting a mature buck, which would be a huge accomplishment. And then because once you have these goals set, you can really, you know, or these expectations set rather, you can set goals to really achieve them and really help you work towards them, opposed to just setting some outlandish goal, which probably won't happen. Not to sound like a Debbie Downer when it comes to, you know, having something that you shouldn't do during season or how it could ruin your season. But if you go into every hunt with these expectations of, you know, way, 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 way out there, where you might not ever meet them, it's gonna make your hunting a lot tougher. In my opinion, it'll make you less successful. So. That's one thing I, I think you shouldn't be doing this summer, and uh, we're gonna cover the next thing here next. We're gonna go ahead and cover the next thing here while I'm driving to the next spot to go pull another camera card. And that's number two, is to not forget about your bow. Forgetting about your bow can definitely contribute to you know hurting your deer season right now. You know, I know so many people that are, you know, fanatical with their archery equipment, but I also know people that like to pick up their bow, you know, the day before archery season or the day before, you know, they're heading to the stand for the first time, and that can really hurt you. Um, you know, life gets busy and there's a lot of things that you want to get done in the summer, you know, outside of deer hunting completely, but even with deer hunting, there's a lot of things you want to get done, like hanging stands or maybe it's food plots or whatever it may be, you know, running trail cameras. And it can be easy to just forget about your bow and to not practice a lot. But you know, I recommend really shooting your bow as much as you can. You know, at this time of year in August, I like to be out, you know, every day if I can. Um, putting myself through realistic scenarios, you know, shooting in low light, shooting from elevated positions, all that good kind of stuff because, because I believe it can really make a difference in, you know, your ability come fall to be able to, to make it happen in the moment of truth. So that's another thing. If you're not shooting your bow, I really believe that can ruin your deer season. You know right now because you might get all the chips to fall in place and then you might because you didn't practice shooting your bow at all you know you might not be ready and come the moment of truth you could pull a shot or make a bad shot or you know whiff completely and and that's no fun because the last thing that you want to, have to worry about once you've gotten all the chips in your favor and you've created that moment of truth is to be able to just send an arrow make a perfect shot and recover a deer so that's the second thing and then we're gonna go ahead and cover two more here next all right, so the third thing that I wanna cover is to not be putting too much pressure on your properties during the summer. Now, every property is a little different and they can vary from how much pressure you can put on in the summer. Is it gonna be an early season you know, property because then you'll even wanna put less pressure on? Is it gonna be a rut farm? Then it might not worry as much, but, but overall, I wanna say that the more pressure you put on during the summer, the more that's gonna end up hurting you no matter what, right? So. Like for example, like trail cameras are such a good example because 
people love to be checking trail cameras nonstop, checking them every week, you know, a couple weeks. And really when it comes to trail cameras, you can't be hunting during the summer anyway, so you don't need that exact real-time data. So what I'm getting at is that by leaving your trail camera soak, that's probably the best route to go. You know, I'll leave trail cameras sit if I could find this damn trail camera I'm looking for. I let trail cameras sit in the summer, usually three weeks to a month at a time. These cameras that I'm checking today, it's the first time I've checked them all, all summer. Like I said, today's August 11th, so definitely something to keep in mind. There we go, I'm right on the trail. So I'm walking up to a camera here, but anyway, don't put a lot of pressure on your properties in the summer. It's not gonna, it's not gonna help you, put it that way. You know, let your camera soak. If you gotta be out doing stuff such as clearing lanes or planting food plots, then by all means, if you need to get it done, get it done. But, you know, don't be out on your property. You know, if you've got a camera in a great spot, you don't need to be checking it every, every week or so because in the end, it's not gonna help you and that camera's gonna be there anyway. So that's the third thing I'm gonna cover and we got one last one that I wanna cover here that I think is really important. All right, well, I just pulled this SD card here on this Exodus camera I got. And the last thing that I wanna talk about in ways you can mess up your deer season right now during the summer is to write a spot off completely. Now, what I mean by writing a spot off completely is because, you know, you might not get pictures of big bucks during the summer on a property, and that's okay. That doesn't mean that you need to just completely write it off. Most often, bucks will shift how they, you know, how they move from summer to fall, and you just might not land on where they are in the summer, and you might, you might just be a quarter mile away from a lot of nice bucks. So if you go into a property and let's say you scout it, it looks really good to you, you think it can be a great property during the rut or early in the fall, but during the summer the bucks aren't showing up, don't just immediately write it off. I'm not saying it's gonna still be good, but you know, make sure to you know, keep checking it out into September and October, and even if it doesn't become a main hunting spot, you know, maybe just keep tabs on it throughout the fall and, and who knows what could happen. So definitely just don't want you to be writing off spots right now because you're not getting big buck pictures. And honestly, while we're on the topic, we could probably say the same where if you are getting big buck pictures in the summer, it doesn't automatically mean that it's gonna be a great property come fall. So those are my four things that I think that can help ruin your season right now. And by not doing those, you know, you're only gonna help yourself come fall. So I really appreciate you watching. If you do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. If you feel so inclined, even maybe subscribe. We really appreciate it. And we'll have more videos rolling here for you soon.